And we come to Las Vegas for the first time of two trips this season. And how in the world are we going to top what we did last week? We're going to give it a go today on a sunny, comfortable, windy day in Las Vegas. Pace car is off. Joey Logano leads the field of the green flag, and it's time to drop the hammer in Las Vegas. We are underway for 400 unpredictable miles. As they spread out going to turn one, there was some contact made around row six between Chase Elliott and Chris Buescher, but we're clean and green at least in turn two. Free wide in the mid-pack, but it's Logano with his nose in the wind. Well, it's the, at his tail as they come down the back straightaway. A lot of dust being thrown up from the cars of their first lap down the back straightaway at speed. Free wide from about fifth on back, but it's going to be Logano that leads the first lap. It's a wide-ranging racetrack, all sorts of lanes to choose from, and they're choosing from all of them. Martin Truex Jr. cuts the dog leg down to the apron. That's perfectly legal here. Joey Logano leads lap one, but he's got pressure at the back door already. Yeah, Kyle Larson closing in. Austin Sindrick has slotted himself into third place. Then it's William Byron. So it's Penske, Hendrick, Penske, Hendrick for the top four. Chase Briscoe under pressure from the gold and black Columbia car of Darrell Wallace Jr. in the middle of turns three and four. And the 23 car is got a nose ahead. Larson to the corner of Logano and he'll get side by side down the back straightaway. Use a bit of side draft to get through and he'll have the whole car ahead as they head to turn at number three. The man that won here a couple of years ago is at the front. Kyle Larson leads in Las Vegas for the first time. Three wide, heading to turn one. Ryan Blaney, Christopher Bell, and Michael McDowell. Bell lays off and lets McDowell and Blaney battle for position just outside the top ten. Now Christopher Bell looked off the pace there through turns one and two. Might have to follow up on what's going on with the 20 car. So it's Larson, Byron, Logano, Truex, and Sendrick, the top five. Run. Oh, yeah, Bell oh, ooh, is Bell. smoking here going to turn one. I think the right rear Got tire's punch, yeah. down. Pace car is off. Chris Busher and Chase Briscoe on the front row. A brace of Fords bring us to the green flag, and we're back underway. 15 of 80 laps complete in stage one. Pretty even start. Busher getting a push at the back door from Corey LaJoy. A lot of guys, Matt, here at the front that took two tires or no tires. Yeah, Larson was the leader and he came out sixth. It's Busher and Briscoe at the front with LaJoy in the, behind them. Tyler Reddick has got himself towards the front as well. All kinds of racing going on throughout the field here. As they head towards turn three, there's three wide throughout. And it's side by side for the lead over the years. And we've had plenty of oh! fuel mileage finishes. Oh, we've got a car in the wall. Chris in Busher. Turn two, it's Chris Busher. He blew a tire, went straight up yeah, into did. the yellow wall. And Busher, who did not change tires, remember, under that caution flag pit stop, blew what looked to be a right front tire, went straight up into the wall in the middle of turns one and two. Caution is out. And that was a heavy hit for Chris Busher, who will, once again, not score a top five finish on a mile and a half racetrack. Daniel Suarez and Michael McDowell on the front row coming to the restart zone, another jumbled up running order for the restart. Green flag is in the air, and Suarez gets a good jump off the line. Push coming from Martin Truex Jr. Top side, it's McDowell and John Hunter Nimichek in front. That's a front row motorsports car at the front, Matt. Stage points implications. And Nimichek getting Biffed out of the way a little bit by Kyle Busch, who's uh, probing through the middle, side by side with Kyle Larson. Here comes Byron again. We know he's got a fast hot rod underneath him today. Denny Hamlin has surfaced in the top 10 as well. So a lot of our major players in and around the front end of the field, but it's Suarez at the front. Boy, it got tied out of turn four between Kyle Busch, William Byron, and Daryl Wallace Jr. Byron trapped up on the outside, trying to make up positions. Ooh, boy, and he goes way up the banking in turns one and two. They're in turn one as we speak, and Wallace is drifting up oh. and nearly into the back of Byron. While the hometown boy, Kyle Busch from Las Vegas, closes right in on the back of Daniel Suarez and goes after him for the lead in turn two. All four cars under a very small blanket going down towards turn number three. Kyle Busch looking to the inside of Suarez, who's mid-tracked it. And it looks like Bush might have to run this time, but look at Larson coming off the top side. Larson was rim riding off the top of turns three and four. He stays clear of Truex. Now the top two double file. Larson closes right in. He'll get underneath the spoiler of Suarez in turn one, then cut it to the bottom. Kyle Busch to the lead, and here comes Larson to try and take that second position away from Daniel Suarez. What is on oh. the nose of the William Byron car? No wonder he's fallen so far back. This isn't just a random hot dog wrapper on the nose of his car, Matt. What is that? Looks like a whole whole piece of cheap 
cheating or hoarding or big piece of uh, garbage bag of some sort. Looks like a hefty bag. covering the whole front of the 24. My goodness. Thought we were going to get Do a... Do you think that came off another car? Like, it almost looks like um something you put onto... Tape. Tape, almost. And he He's is on pit road. To get it removed. I mean, it's completely covered the grill opening. Larson continuing to go after Bush for the lead will follow Byron on pit road. Wait, what about that? We're coming to a checkered flag, and there's Kyle Larson and a Toyota getting very close together. But speaking of close together, Ty Gibbs is shoving Martin Truex down into turn one. Truex puts a nose ahead of Bush. Bush counters back topside. Truex still trying to get this pass done. Looks like Larson has it as they head towards turn three, by the way. Unless Reddick does... A Carl Edwards style move in turn three. He does dive to the inside, but he isn't going to be quite close enough. And it is going to be stage one Whew. in the books for the five team of Kyle Larson. Only barely as Larson crosses the stripe of car length ahead of Reddick. Meanwhile, a photo finish at the line for third between Bush and Truex. More on that as we go on. Green flag up in the air for this restart to start stage two. Joe Gibbs racing Toyotas on the front row. That's Martin Truex Jr. and Denny Hamlin. They spread out in the middle of the pack. Three wide. Tyler Reddick trying to make up ground after a slow pit stop. But it's Truex the leader off two. Contact further back, perhaps. Yeah, there was a dust flying in the background. It's Larson and Corey LaJoy still hanging around in the top end of the field side by side behind them and here comes ty gibbs trying to make a move up on the high side in the 54 all happening at the beginning of stage two well the toyotas were coming quickly at the end of that stage and it's hamlin out front but what about Corey lajoy with a power move up out of turn four he clears martin truex jr the spire number seven goes into second truex left to battle larson for third he's been using that higher line to a good effect in that battle we have with carl bush did larson he has the run this time he dives to the inside in turn number three, can he keep it pinned down on the inside of Hamlin, who doesn't race him too hard, but will keep the position just as they come off the corner? Larson right up alongside Hamlin. He gets to the inside, <clears throat> and he gets to the stripe first. Larson leads. Ooh, Oof. boy, and then swoops up bottom to top to get in front of Hamlin, maybe take a little bit of the clean air off the nose of the 11. Yeah, that was all about the air there. You can see Larson was moving around to try and get some clean air on the straight and then and trouble on the exit of turn Bell. number two christopher bell spinning to the inside of turn two on the back straightaway comes to rest on the infield so a second issue on the day for the 20 team trying to get it refired he hasn't hit anything by the looks of things the yellow is out and he has got himself righted and pointing in the right direction so we'll get a replay of what happened to Bell. Well, this changes things for the end of the stage. We're going to have a short run here for the stage points. Toyota Supra pace car hits pit road. This could be a really wild restart here. Who's going to roll the dice and take some chances here? Green flag in the air. Bowman gets away pretty good. He's got his nose ahead of Larson. They're already scrambling middle of the pack. Austin Dillon went to the apron. They're four wide with Truex, Logano, Elliott, and LaJoy. They're four by four back there. They're nearly five wide. The land rush through turn two, and down the back straight away they come. All manner of racing going on at the front, though. It is Bowman from Larson, free wide for third. Reddick has got it for the moment. He spends off his team owner, Denny Hamlin. Here comes Ryan Blaney trying to make a move. And what a move from Larson with the four tires. Yeah, those four fresh tires on Larson was always going to win out, and it has. He has swept the lead away from Alex Bowman. Don't know if Bowman ever had a real shot at winning this stage the question is can he hold on for a top five finish in it yeah if it had gone green he would have got no points so if he can stay in the top 10 here it would at least be a gain for him as he tries to fend off Tyler Reddick as they head to turn two for third place and gets it done Truex and Blaney side by side there's Chase Elliott also involved here for a point gain as they come to the end of this lap it'll be one oh, more to go in the stage heavens Whoa. to betsy blaney right across the nose of the truex toyota meanwhile don't count tyler reddick out from winning this stage too we could have a carbon copy of how the first stage ended this is the final lap of the stage off to reddick trying to get the power going up on the outside wasn't quite close enough to mount a challenge last night to defend down the back straight away though into three Reddick will try and force a way around the outside if he can in the Camry. Larson mirror driving just blends up in front of him nicely. And off of turn four, 
It is a stage sweeping day for the five team. Kyle Larson takes the green and white checker. He is ahead of Reddick at the line, then Hamlin third, Blaney fourth, Truex fifth, then Elliott, then Dillon. Bowman faded to eighth. Then it's Logano, and out of nowhere, Eric Jones with a stage point. <laughs> and that's how stage two comes to an end. Stage three is underway with Kyle Larson and Tyler Reddick on the front row. And boy, we talked about the Hosses underneath that five car today. He takes off on the restart. He's got choice of lane as he shows the way to turn two. With a push from Denny Hamlin, Reddick sliding back slightly on the outside row. Two and three wide behind. Three wide for second, in fact, because here comes one and Truex Jr. to the inside of his teammate. Ryan Blaney right in the conversation as well. Eric Jones just inside the top 10. We've not really mentioned his name at all today. Still free wide for second. Larson escaping. Yeah, Larson scooting away as those three Toyotas continue to run side by side by side. Truex and Hamlin and Reddick. They're three wide behind them with Briscoe, Elliott, and Blaney. It's going to be Reddick who comes out on top in the scrap for second. Off the corner they come. Free wide for fifth with Blaney getting a push from his teammate Logano. Chase Elliott in there as well. But Reddick has escaped the second position ahead of those other two Toyotas of Truex and Hamlin. Then it's the Blaney, Elliott, and Chase Briscoe free wide. And then comes the Childress cars oh. who make contact in the tri-oval. That gives Joey Logano a huge burst of speed. Here comes Joey into this battle. Uh, oh, we got a spinner. There's your late race caution. Oh, it's Corey LaJoy in the seven. That's at the exit of, of turn, position, two. turn two. Oh, and what a shame for Corey. Now that's really, that's a tragedy. Green flag in the air. We're back to racing, and it was a pretty even start on the front row. Here comes Reddick diving to the inside of Larson. Larson throws a sledgehammer block. Now he's going to go up and try oh. to block Chastain. Larson all over the place as he tries to protect the lead. But Chastain is there, and he'll be side by side down the back straightaway and have a nose slightly ahead. Martin Truex Jr. giving a huge push to Tyler Reddick behind. Jenny Hamlin trying to split the difference in the middle for everybody. Still the one and the five side by side for the lead. Oh, Chastain got a good run off the top of the corner. Now they're side by side, and it's going to give Hamlin a big run down the straightaway. Chastain crowds Larson down to the apron on the approach to turn one. Here comes Hamlin looking interested. Here's a cross section of three people from the last couple of years. <laughs> Larson, Hamlin, Chastain for the lead. Still side by side between the one and the five. Then it is Hamlin. Reddick in fourth position on his own for the moment. Larson to the inside of Chastain in turns three and four. Had he cleared him this time? Yes. Well, give credit to Ross Chastain. He made Larson fight for every inch of the racetrack there. Chastain with an undermanned car and with two less fresher tires. He made Larson work for it, but still Larson has come out on top. Five to go. Car five leads. 45 is chasing. And it's only a couple of car lengths between the top two drivers with now three laps to go. If you loved what you've seen at Daytona and you loved what you've seen at Atlanta, come to Las Vegas. You're getting more of great NASCAR right here, right now. Off of two, Reddick poking a little nose to the inside as they come down the back straightaway. What will he do into three? He goes high again. Larson blocks. Larson blocks to the outside. He'll keep Reddick up against the wall. Try and put him up in the dust as they come out of four. Two laps to go, three miles. We talk about how it's a carbon copy of how the first two stages ended today. This is looking very similar to last summer in Kansas, Larson versus Hamlin. Hamlin got by Larson on the last lap there with some contact. Less than two to go. Off of turn two for the penultimate time. Down the back straightaway. Wallace is not involved with the pushing game. He's out of dodge. It's between these two. Into three. They both run to the low side this time. That's a change of uh, line from Reddick, and Larson had it well scouted. And it hasn't worked out for Reddick. He's lost two car lengths. Across the line, Kyle Larson has taken the white flag and started the final lap here in Vegas. He was able to up the gap. It's now six car lengths as he took the air off the nose of Reddick through three and four the last time. Yeah, you've got it spot on. He's fallen too far back now. Two more corners, one more attack for Reddick, but he's far too far back. Kyle Larson is set to the checkered flag in Las Vegas. In the third race of 2024, Kyle Larson is going to score career win number 24. Checkered flag, Kyle Larson wins at Vegas and cleans out all of everyone's chips tonight. Larson's the winner in Vegas. Reddick is second, and Larson...
kept it to the bottom in turns three and four, coming to the white flag, and that was really the winning move, Joe. It was the winning move. The big thing was trying to just keep in Kyle Reddick in the dirty air. Three and four, Tyler Reddick went low. Kyle Larson called that perfectly. And then it looked like, if they show a replay, it looked like as he was exiting the corner, the back just slipped a little bit, and that costed Tyler Reddick some time as well. Thank you for watching USRN on YouTube. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more USRN highlights. And for even more dedicated coverage, make sure to follow USRN and USRN2 on Mixler.com and at USRN Radio on Twitter.